of Libra and thank you guys so much for tuning in all right guys so I hope you've been doing well I know this has been such a crazy world lately but let's see what is going on for you guys now this is going to be for Sun Moon rising and Venus signs so let's see what's up what is going on for my Libras going on with the sign of Libra. All right. All right, guys, so we have your past. Present. And your future. Okay, guys. So the energy that we have here is the Nine of Cups reverse. So this is an energy where maybe someone can be dissatisfied about something. It's like it, it's something that you're not happy about, but at the same time, the worst that you feel could have happened in the situation has happened. Okay. Um, it could be a situation where you feel like someone in a place of authority was holding secrets and there's just some sort of conflict that you're trying to cut out, okay? Something that just it doesn't sit right with you. So let's go to your past, guys. We have the King of Wands, the Queen of Wands reversed, and the Lover's card reversed. So for some of you, maybe you were dealing with a Leo, Aries, or Sagittarius, um, but there could have been something that was strong in your life, something that had a lot of passion and that you had to let go of. Or maybe you um, just had some sort of heated situation where maybe you were arguing with someone or maybe it caused a fallout with someone or, you know, in something. It could be like a job or something, okay? So why is this King of Wands here? We have the Knight of Cups reversed. And we have the Strength card. So it could have been a Leo specifically for some of you guys, but there is manipulation in the situation um there's something that fell out of your control or fell out of someone's control that was close to you where there could have been some sort of new beginning or some sort of new offer but you're just looking at it as a waste of time and effort and you know someone's pissed off someone's being a diva about this why is this queen of wands reversed we have the five of pentacles some sort of rejection or maybe this is something that caused some sort of financial hardship and we have the Two of Cups. It's something that you're closely drawn to, but there's some sort of fallout or rejection that happens. Um, and it might not be for good. Maybe it's something that's temporary for some of you guys. Um, but that's something that you would know is temporary. So maybe it's like having to leave your job because of this COVID thing um, and just being angry about that, you know, wondering where the hell you're going to get your money until you can get back to work. Um, or this could be a situation where you know you need to reject something even if you're still tied to it, even if you're still like emotionally latched onto it, okay? So what is this fallout that we see or this misunderstanding or this arguing? We have the Five of Cups reversed, okay. So there's a, a duality here that I see, guys. You're letting go of something, okay? Let me try not to drop all these cards. Oh, my God. Okay. So I feel like, you know what? Okay. Sorry, because I, I just got like a thousand messages right as I was about to speak, and it changed what I was going to say. Um, there is some sort of fallout or disagreement that could be there in a situation but you choose not to put effort into it because you're fucking over it there's something that you're so over you're not going to explain yourself um if there's someone against you you're you're just again you're not going to entertain it maybe you have to drop someone or something like all together but you guys are doing something strong and you're doing it in secret and you're kind of just keeping this to yourself because you don't want any sort of energies around you making you feel like you can't succeed in something. So 
I feel like with this King of Swords in the reverse and this Eight of Pentacles and this high, uh, high what is this, the High Priests here, you know damn well you're going to do some good with something, but there is some sort of opposition here and you guys are not taking shit, okay? When that King of Swords in the reverse comes out in this sort of setup, this is a person that has been pushed and they've been pushed and they've been pushed and they've been pushed and now they fight back and it's the sort of fight back where people around might look at you and be like oh my god you're such an asshole why would you do that why is that so extreme but it's like you can only hit a dog or smack a dog so many times you know until it bites you back so it's that sort of situation where you snap and you're fierce and you start going heavily towards something because you know what the fuck you're doing and people are like, oh, where is this coming from? And you're just like, oh, come on, bitch. You know exactly where this is coming from. So power to you guys. I actually got like chills reading that because I just I love it when people just shut people up and do boss ass shit and don't give a fuck about what anyone thinks. So power to you guys. Now, in the present moment, we have the five of wands reversed, ace of wands reversed, and we have the moon card. So you let this go because you just, something needed to end. You needed to end some sort of drama, some sort of tension. And there's just so much clarity within you. It's like you're seeing something clearly. You're, um, you're seeing the truth to things. If there was any sort of pain that you were going through also, this does help you to, you know, recover from that. Why is this five of wands here? We have the star card. Beautiful. And we have the chariot in the reverse. You're no longer allowing yourself to be bothered by the things that you can't control. Okay, so you're not beating yourself up over that. If you don't understand why I want to do this, that's fine. Fuck you, I'm going to do it. You know, excuse my French, guys. Y'all got me hype with this reading. But again, yeah, if you don't want me to do something, your mentality, if someone's telling you that, your mentality is that's fine, I'm going to do it anyways. But you're, you're no longer bothered by what's out of your control. And because you take that mentality... Something comes in for you that can be very strong, something that could be in your life for a while, but something just wasn't resonating with your soul anymore, so you're dropping it. Um, and with this sort of attitude, even if this is like a favorite, like first cousin or something, they don't stand a chance against your wrath if that's something you feel you need to cut off if they're not understanding you. So I feel like no one is safe, Libra, if they're in your way in any way, shape, or form, okay? So the Ace of Wands reverse that you guys have for your present moment, this is the center card for your spread, so I kind of see it as like the core energy for you. Six of Pentacles reversed. Hermit card in the reverse. If you're not going to give to me, if you're not going to feed me, if you're not going to benefit me, if this is not going to be something that's going to be reciprocated, then it's not happening. Point blank, period. I'm protecting myself at all costs. At all costs. Do I think about this sometimes? Absolutely. I'm a Libra. That's my job. Well, you guys are Libra. I'm a Taurus. But you make such an incredible change because you see something so clearly and because you go for it. Even though you're still kind of, you know, you still have on your mind what it was that, you know, is difficult for you to let go of. Um, And what's funny is whatever opposition or resistance you're getting from whatever you need to let go of, their opposition is not even genuine. Their standpoint towards you is not even genuine. You know, this is someone that is coming from a place of convenience. So someone is trying to guide you, but in a way that is convenient for them. No, we're not doing that. No, absolutely not. Okay, you have the moon card here. This is very powerful, guys. You guys aren't taking shit. We have the four of wands. You guys are so enlightened. You know exactly what it is that you want and you create such a stable platform for yourself. Big change, guys. Okay? Definitely a huge change coming in. Your life is about to change and it's because you knew exactly what was throwing you off. You knew exactly what was in balance and you brought that balance back. You're tired. You did everything you could to try to entertain a certain situation, to try to go about it in a certain way, but it just... You have to take different action. Enough is enough. Okay. Now, moving forward, guys, into the future, we have the Six of Swords reversed, the Ten of Wands reversed, and we have the Eight of Swords. 
So there's losses that you're still, not so much losses, you know, because you've released the burden. You're, you're not feeling so heavy anymore, but you're still thinking about the things that were difficult to walk away from or some sort of loss that you still do feel or a person that, again, you, you just still have them on your mind. But you did what you had to. Why is the Six of Swords in the reverse here? These two cards wanted to flip. All right. We have the Two of Swords and we have the Wheel of Fortune. So it's funny because with whatever is bringing you pain or whatever your mind is still stuck on, like you're, you still think about it so much. It's still like, it's still something that you're constantly trying to process in your mind and you're trying to think, did I do the right thing? Did I take the right approach? Okay. But you guys did because some sort of unexpected blessing comes in and it's like the strong pain or betrayal or whatever it was that you felt, it completely like subsides. And with the Wheel of Fortune, there's such a positive and monumental shift in your life where, again, all of that burden is gone. We have the Ace of Swords. And we have the King of Pentacles in the reverse. Libras, you see it for what it is. There's someone that they're just like, no, I think you should do this, and I think that you should do that, and it's because of this and because of that. And you're like, no, I know your hidden agenda. It's because you want me to do this, this, and that. You actually want this out of it, and you thought I didn't see it, but I see it, so no, fuck you. So I keep saying that, but that's that's the attitude you guys have. If it wasn't for me not, you know, for me needing to monetize this video, I would put that as the title, but don't want to get in trouble with YouTube. But yeah, there's just, there's an opposition that's not even trying to help you genuinely. It, there, there's someone who's trying to get their way in something and they're trying to maneuver it so that it works out and benefits them. Okay, so they're not really looking out for you. Okay, whatever it is. So, but you know that and you see that and you cut it out right away. It doesn't mean you don't still think about it. Seven of Cups reversed. Clarity, seeing things for what it is. World card and bringing it to an end. Um, all the major arcanas coming out, guys. Look, you have the Star card. You have the Wheel of Fortune. You have the Ace of Swords, which is not a major arcana, but it has, you know, a lot of powerful stance in this reading or a powerful stance in this reading. You guys get everything you want and wish and your life changes in such an incredible, incredibly awesome way because you said no to the bullshit even though it was difficult even though you may not have wanted to you make everything happen for yourself you remove yourself from something toxic something that didn't work out and this it's not something you're going to return to um manifestation is going to be strong for you guys this month i don't want you guys to doubt yourself at all I don't care who it is that is opposing you. I don't care if it is the woman that gave birth to you. You got to put something on the back burner right now in order for you to really do something and, you know, to really, really excel. Someone's giving you advice to maneuver something in your life, but it's so that they can benefit from it in some way, shape, or form. And you ain't about it. You're not about it. All right. So let's see what sort of guidance comes out for my Libras. What time is it? It's 9 p.m. I think you guys might be my last reading because I'm hungry. And I really want a bottle of tequila. All right, guys. So let's see what's up. I wonder what time the liquor store is closed today. All right, so we have the Devil card, the Lover's card, Three of Cups. I'm going to have to pull three more. We have the Eight of Swords reversed. We have the King of Swords. Y'all are on your powerful ass shit, and I love it. And we have the Sun card. <laughs> yeah, it's still in your life. Yeah, there's still some sort of attachment to it. But you know that this is a mistake. You know someone or something can't be trusted. Devil, I see you exactly for who you are. You're literally looking at this toxic situation and it's just like, do you really think you're fooling me? 
And you're just like laughing to yourself because you see clearly the intention of the devil. And you cut that shit out. And you have so many blessings. You guys are very happy. You're celebrating something. There's a lot of love around you, whether it's you finding great love within yourself, you, you know, getting close to those around you or just, you know, an actual lover. But you guys see this shit for what it is. Okay, so no one's going to be able to fuck with you, Libra, because you guys are definitely very woke. Okay, I love this, guys. This was an amazing reading. Um, so good for you guys. Let me know what's happening in your life. Now, in regards to personal readings, guys, I just got so overwhelmed. So I closed out all readings. The only reading that is still up is the same day emergency reading so that you guys get within 24 hours. I really just want to minimize the income of what's coming in um, so that I can really focus on the readings that I have existing now that I want to get out. So if there is a reading that you guys are waiting on, just know it's just me. I'm working heavily through it. So I will get to you. I promise I'm not ignoring anyone. I just want to answer everything personally. So when I respond to you, it will be with your reading. So I know a lot of people like they want a daily, you know, update. Just chill. I got y'all. Okay. I promise. And I will send the reading. Um, but if you guys have any questions or anything, my email is below in the description. So just reach out to me. Um, I don't like doing business over comments on YouTube or social media. So please just email me. Um, but other than that, follow me on Instagram, High Vibrations 44 I am also on Twitter, Bruja Shit. I love you guys. It's going to be a very powerful month for you. Take care.